girl made it to Puerto Rico. Yeah, I'm here. I was super excited to see my sister Natalie. Five minutes later. Oh, What's up, y'all? It's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're going to talk about Baddies Caribbean. I think this is episode 10. And when I say too much weird stuff happened in this episode, like for real, from Tiseki trying to defend Anna, from Biggie over here going along with the whole eviction when she had the eviction notice last year, and she, cause she was a replacement last year, and she didn't want to be the replacement last year, but she came in, got evicted, and got pissed off about that, so she's confused on why the girl's getting pissed off about it now. Who? The girl's trying to defend the girl that sneaks people because she got snuck. If two plus two is four, right? And five plus five is ten, okay. What the fuck is this? But y'all like, comment, subscribe, look into the video. <laughs> yeah. Let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out. I'm a famous lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it. One is securing the bag. So the episode Best. starts where um it left off. Basically, Roly comes in with Natalie and she's like, Yeah, you know. I'm here in the building. I'm here on um, me you on know, Batty Batty Shot O'Clock with Natalie. I'm off a of reserve, so I'm about to over here do have a good time with my girl Natalie. This is my sister. I'm like, yo, sister. <laughs> I said, like, when did y'all become sisters? But I guess two weeks is on, right? So all the girls one by one start showing up and they're just like, oh my god, Roly, you look so good. And don't get me wrong, Roly do look good. Like, regardless of what people say, like Roly do look good. Period. It do look like she's really like Right, but regardless of the fact, face stunning. I mean, her face has always been stunning. Um, you know, so she's really getting there. We already know there's two people that are missing, which is Bianca and Mariah. I'm assuming that Mariah's trying to recover that eye, and Bianca's probably somewhere scared. All the girls give Rolly a hug, and Biggie walks down. Biggie's sitting on, on the thing. She's like, I don't want to give you a hug. I'm not giving you a hug because, you know, I just feel like, um, Every time last year you came at me, you made fun of me speaking Spanish. My homeland, my motherland, Dominican Republic, my, my DR was going to go DR. I'm speaking Spanish, you know, it killed the boca. So, Roll just like, you know what? I'm going to be the bigger one, woman, <laughs> pun intended. So, I'm going to apologize to this girl. So, she apologized. They hug it out. It was what it was. So, Anna comes down. Anna comes down and automatically on go. She sits down with Tisiki and she just basically was like, okay, you said the last time that you saw me that you was going to break my face and you was going to beat my ass. You were throwing shit at me. What now? So Anna starts throwing stuff. She gets up. You already know Rolly's already on go. So she stands up and she just like, okay, what's up? What's up? What's up? And they going back and forth. They're Curly insults. Um, Rolla is just like, you know, at the end of the day, um, keep fucking playing with me. I'm not the motherfucking one. Bitch, I'll break your face on the other side in three places. Um, but you know, to me, how I saw this, I saw this as Rolly was in a uh, retaliation because Anna was coming at her and Anna was saying a lot of stuff, basically saying, Oh, you a fat bitch, mocking the way that she walked. I ain't gonna hold you. When she did that, I could have fell through the bed. I'm wrong. 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 I'm wr
each other in this moment. So why are we even trying? You're wasting your breath for what? You know, as Camilla once said, you know, I'm not doing all that arguing because it's, it's me wasting energy that could be putting into your face. That's what Camilla said from Backers Club season eight. I don't condone violence. I'm just saying. Now, Tzatziki's over here standing in the way. And Roland's trying to figure out, like, what is she doing? Because you over here trying to be her bodyguard, but she over here got a fight mouth. I, I'm just kind of feeling like a little gang the fuck up on right now because as I'm over here going at it with this motherfucking lizard. And my whole thing with Anna is the only reason I feel like is you talking crazy is the fact that you know Roly will wash you, but you know those security guards there. Because even at the reunion, when you was trying to fight Roly, girl, you was over here running around stage. And for Tzatziki to be like, Rolling, you already know I'm not gonna let you fight her. Like you, y'all, you in a two different weight class, girl. I'm not gonna let you fight her. You're not about to fight her, Rolly, though. Like, come on, Rolly, y'all is two different weight classes. It don't even make sense. I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm just like, girl, fuck all of that because you, Tasiki, you fought Janet and Marsh, and baby, your thighs is at least three sizes of them. You the thick, thick, thick girl. Those are bone. They, that's honor size, right? So, for you to just like, oh, you can't fight her. Best believe. In the court of the streets, I don't think people give a fuck about what size you are. They fighting just to fight. And Tzatziki, you should know that, right? So that's why I'm looking at Tzatziki kind of weird. I'm just like, this is the second time to, for me, Tzatziki has done something. I'm just like, I don't get it personally. But to each his own. I guess she'll figure it out. <laughs> Mind you, was in her face. Rolla was just like, girl, I don't give a fuck. If you want to be her bodyguard, be her bodyguard. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I guess I'm going to be fighting all y'all. Tzatziki's like, you ain't about to fight me because I eat, 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 I eat. We get it. We get it. Girl. Here goes Tzatziki getting up like she finna fight for this bitch. And honestly, I'm getting tired of it. Like, I'm ready, honestly, because I don't give a fuck at this point. You think everybody's scared of you? I don't think everybody's scared of you. And I think some of these girls will willingly take that fade. But to each his own. But I ain't gonna hold you. Not that many girls I've seen can throw them hands like Tzatziki. I think J.O. can. Yeah, J.O., I saw her over here throwing them. So they finally got Mighty Mouse and um, Rolly to calm down. So, you know, they all go out to um, an appearance. You're like, no, we're going, we're going to get the bag. We're going to get the bag. So they're all going out. Um, a lot of people are there. You know, Batty Batty Shot O'Clock and Natalie's Batty Show has literally went worldwide. Like, I heard, I went to Megan Thee Stallion concert and I went to Chris Brown concert literally within months of each other. And... I heard Bad Bad Shot O'Clock at Megan's and I heard people chanting Bad Bad Shot O'Clock at Chris Brown. Like, uh, it, uh, you, call, it, call it what you want to call it, but it is what it is. Ain't nobody over here chanting anything from Jocelyn's. <laughs> so the next day, all the girls meet out to go get henna tattoos and they meet Mariah. Um, So I want to correct something I said beforehand. I said that Mariah should have fought Anna because she, Anna fought her mother. Well, it didn't happen before. It's about to happen next episode. So I want to see how that goes because if you fight my mom or hit my mom. Not on my watch. The girls are here having conversations about, okay, you know, we need to get these eviction notices out. We're ready for some new girls. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I just find it funny because I feel like the easiest targets were the new girls that came into the house. They didn't want to say none of each other's name because they know that it would really go crazy. So we hop over to Diamond the Body, Biggie, Anna, freaking Meatball, and they're over here sitting down on conversing about, you know, who should go home. And, you know, Slim Nang get brought up, Dia Nang get brought up. I feel like for me personally, Dia was easy. Like, she gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Like, girl, you was just annoying. Diamond was basically just a gift of gab, girl. Just talking, just shooting shit. And she said something about, yeah, you know, I fought Tink, Tinkabella on, you know, four times. And, you know, Meatball was like, yeah, and lost four times. She was like, I did not get my ass whipped. She was like, that's my opinion. You know, this is my opinion. So, like, Meatball wasn't really coming. Meatball said something shady, but she wasn't coming on that rambunctious energy. So Diamond was like, I mean, I'd get out there with anybody. So, <laughs> Meatball was like, okay, when you fight my sister, then you're gonna have to fight me. Why don't you fight me? So that's where Diamond's just like, okay, where's this coming from? Okay, well shit, we can run it again. Or you can run it just with her sister. Oh, oh for what? Why would you guys be running? Who's her sister? Me. 
Biggie was like, wait, 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 wait. Where's this coming from? Because we're just talking about, we don't need to have none of that. We don't need to do none of that. We gotta just talk about all this stuff. You know? We segue over to Natalie in these fuck ass meetings. So Natalie's like, you know, I want to do pregame. She don't want to say meeting because you're going to tip the girls off. She's like, we're going to do a pregame tonight. Scott is over here helping her out. Um, Rollers over here helping her out, and then all the girls proceed to come downstairs. Mind you, unbeknownst to certain ladies, they're doing an eviction night. So Natalie's over having <laughs> the way Natalie said it was fucked up. But Natalie was like, Yeah, you know, you guys, we're going to pregame tonight. We're about to go to a great club. I'm happy that you all got your nice clothes on, you got your hair done. And, you know, I just want to let you guys know that we are going to have some evictions tonight. Some ladies will be leaving um, because we're going to bring us two new girls. I just want to let you know that D and Slim, you're gone. I said, well, damn. And Gretchen's in the back like, let me be quiet because they didn't say my name. <coughs> they didn't say me. Let me shut the fuck up. So when Natalie said Slim name, I don't know what switch came on because Slim was on go. Dia and Slim, huh? you guys would be replacements going into the other house and we're going to let the new girls come in and yeah, when, we, when we go to the next island. She's like, well, who said it? Who said who said they want me to go home? Who said it? You 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 said it? So now in the midst of this, you can tell that she, the girl's already agitated. We learned from Mariah that she's been drinking. So they're trying to figure out who said it. So she's asking all the people. Mind you, I, I ain't gonna hold you. People weren't really talking. Everybody else is just so whispering around and then Dia's like well you know I, I good with all the fucking that I work too fucking hard to come here I'm like Dia I get it I get it I get it you said you're the only island girl on the show that you're repping your spot you you're a boss in real life I heard this so whole I heard this whole script at least five times yeah unfortunately for me it is your time to go <laughs> slim however I ain't mad so everybody um so, um let's say safari sapphire was like um, well, you know, what I said was, I don't know that much about your personality. I want to learn a little bit more about you. Don't fade to the background. Um, Jayla was like, well, what I said was, like, I feel like Slim is over his fade into the background. She didn't give her personality more. And then, um, who else said something? Somebody else said something. But, um, and also all that. Oh, Meatball, Meatball was like, well, you know, Slim was over here calling people out. So I got in front of her face and just let her know, like, since she called him out, like, you know, I'm going to say what I say. So Meatball was like, yeah, I said that you got to go home because I just feel like, you know, you're not really rocking with it. You got to go. You got to go. So Slim was like, look, Meatball, I'll fuck with you, but throw your hands up. <laughs> I said, I said, girl, I don't condone violence. But yeah. everybody's like, wait, wait, wait. Natalie's just like, no, no, Slim, <laughs> No, Slim. No, no, Slim. I'm just like Natalie. We're not about to just attack people to stay. I'm not about to stay whenever I want to stay. I'm not doing that. I know what the fuck I want to do. Who are you running Girl, so as Slim is over here, just I feel like Slim is just pissed at this moment because an opportunity that all these women probably all wanted is about to be gone. So she just could look at Diamond and just like, okay, Diamond, you, you said you ain't saying nothing. What's up? So now I was like, girl, I don't want to fight. I just got my wig done. I, just put <laughs> I blinked and I saw Slim run over and tackle Diamond off the counter, <laughs> baby. And then they over here started going at it, just started tussling. So everybody tried to scatter and get out the way. Now they're jumping over the counter. So in that moment, Diamond just ripped her wig off. And I said, okay, so they about to brawl. <laughs> they are about to brawl. These are two women brawling. Because um, Slim already had her wig ripped off. And she tried to save it. I was just like, Slim, I ain't gonna hold you. Just take it, take it off. But they square up, fair, fair. And just die, 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 die. I don't go no violence. But Diamond, I gotta give you that one. That was your first win, girl. Yeah. So they squared up again. Diamond got another one. She she was two, two and zero for Slim. She got that one. Natalie basically tells Slim, she, "You definitely gotta go now because you over here sneaking people. You definitely gotta go home now." Slim, the way you just snuck Diamond, you you have to go home. I said, "Ain't this the cat calling the motherfucking kettle black?" Y'all didn't say shit when Diamond over here snuck Bianca and popped up to her head and didn't say shit. So Dia, she over here starts her monologue. And she's just like, I want to stay here. I spent so hard for here. Because they basically gave her an option of, you know, Slim going home. But, dear, you can go to the replacement house. 
So Slim was like, um, Dia was like, I'm not doing that. So Biggie getting her feelings, she's just like, look, I was a replacement. You trying to say that, uh, that a bureau replaced me? We ain't like that. But I came in as a replacement on my own shit. What you mean your own shit? Girl, you, this is your third season. What do you mean your own shit? This, this is Natalie's shit. Let's not forget. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is your problem? Okay. They giving you an opportunity to say, I came in as a replacement on my own shit and I'm in. Everything subsides and they all go out. Mind you, Dia and Slim join the girls going out to the club. I wouldn't have went not the fuck nowhere. But, I mean, maybe they were trying to salvage some type of hope. I don't fucking know. But they all go to the club. They perform their songs. It was what it was. We see Jelly Bean and Nunu in the background. Maybe those are going to be the two replacements. I don't know. But I'm going to just assume it, since they're partying with them, it was what it was. But next episode, see like it's gonna be the episode of all episodes. I am ready. Scotty versus Gretchen. Gretchen versus Jayla. Jayla versus Callie. Callie versus Gretchen. Baby. <laughs> oh, it's about to be Royal Rumble. I'm ready for it. But y'all, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Brian Keith, LG, Black Pete Bet you didn't know we the Holy Trinity Now let the God stop a dollar break your head Step into the room and get up in the bed It tastes sweet, that's cause I'm good It tastes sour cause I'm better than the hood Uh, cause I get you hyped But when I run out all around cause I excite ya Let me talk, let me talk real quick You can't even get get with the shit You wanna go toe to toe with my flow The cyber candy all I really have to fall Uh, now I got to go Got to go, got to go, got to go